This is a condenser microphone from Sena. The model number is SMC-660. According to what we have here, if you can pause the video, this is going to be the, you know, the polar patterns. Just look at the chart. This is how it's going to look, depending on how you're going to use it. Before we dive in, let's just open the mic first and see what we have inside. This is very well padded. And I like the fact that Sena actually make this case for this microphone and you have this pouch, temporary uh, storage or transportation. You have this uh, shock mount and uh, it's well built. The shock mount look really nice and look well built. So that's the shock mount. And you have this extra cable to use on the shock mount should in case one cable is wet out. So that's what we have inside. Yeah, we have the mic, of course. This is the microphone and it's really nice. So I'm going to just go through the spec. But before we go, I don't know if this is going to matter to you. If this is something that is really important to you, where the microphone is made. This microphone is actually made in China. When you look at where you have the Sena logo, the label, that will show you the front of the microphone. And when you turn it to the other side, this shows you the back. And from the back, you have these two switch. Okay, the first switch is going to give you the high pass, which means that when you push it to the first switch, you are rolling off some low end or you can leave it to flat. The other one is going to give you the pad. And the pad is that when you have it in the first position, it gives you zero dB. But when you switch it all the way to the left, uh, to the right, they give you minus 10 dB. So it's going to cut out minus 10 dB. So coming back to the front, you have a polar pattern switch. The first one is going to give you the figure eight. The middle will give you the cardioid, while the last one is going to give you omnidirectional uh, polar pattern. And if this matter to you, these are the, you know, the data. The mic element is through condenser transducer. They have a uh, dual 1.3 inches. That is 34 millimeter gold plated diaphragm they have polar pattern of cardioid figure eight and omnidirectional the, the frequency response is from 20 hertz to 20 kilo hertz signal to noise ratio here is 76 db that's one kilo hertz at one pa so maximum input spl is 130 which is not bad then you have your power requirement which is 48 volt you need to use this with your audio interviews with 48 Vote power okay that's very important output connector is gold plated three pin slr like i said you can't use it with your computer you need slr cable to make this work another is that the pad is 10 dB minus 10 db i pass factor is 80 x which means whatever anything from 80 downward is cut out okay and not like they are cut out completely they are not completely cut out they just roll them off, okay? Now, this is the microphone. You're listening to the Sena. This is how it sounds. Trust me, there is no processing here. All I did is just send this microphone directly to my camera preamp. So this is how the microphone sounds flat. No processing, nothing. Just some limiter. I put limiter on it. And this is how it sounds on process. This is how it sounds on process. So... I'm just going to go now and cut out some low end out of this mic and let's see how it sound. Put on the switch for 160 hertz. This is how it sounds. So I believe by now that should clear out some low end. I have to listen to this after the fact because all I just want to see is that how does this mic sound if I plug it to any audio interface or if I plug it to any preamp without any processing, how is it going to sound? And that's what I did. I have no processing going on on this. All I did now is just to roll out some low end up to 160 hertz, and I think that should clear out some low end from this microphone. So I'm gonna bring back the low end, okay? All right, so I have the low end, I have it back right now, and this is the microphone. Trust me, this Sena microphone is really well built. It's nice, I think I like the build quality, not gonna lie. That's a very nice build quality to a microphone like this. But now, who do you who 
at, who is this mic for in the first place? Who are those people that this mic is tailored towards to? And my answer is going to be that this mic is multi-pattern. So you have three patterns to switch from. So the ideal situation to use this microphone is going to be that you're speaking into the microphone to capture your voice and to record your voice. I think that's how you're going to use this microphone. But aside from that, there are other ways that you can use this microphone or this microphone can actually function in another way. You can use it as your instrument microphone. So that's another way you can use it. Um, meaning that you can put it on your guitar and it will capture it nice. You can put this one on your drum set. In fact, if you get this in pair, you can use two of these to capture a whole mic drum recording. You can use it that way. Also, you can put one of these behind your bass or kick drum while you put one above at the center of the old drum set and play it like that. This will capture your kick drum and it will capture your snare drum from the bottom and it will capture some of the, it will capture your thumbs and floor from the bottom. Why the one you have at the top will capture everything with the snare, with the eye hat and everything is going to capture them that way. So you can use the two of this microphone as a drum mic, all right? Or you can just use this as a room tone, uh, just to capture the room tone when you are playing your drum set. You can use this mic like so, or you can just use it to capture the eye at left and right. It's gonna work fine. Regardless of how you want to use it, it's really versatile. So those are another people that can use this. And in that scenario, that I'm talking about now using it for your drum set, you still have to be in the cardioid polar pattern, all right? Another scenario that you can use this is that if you want to use this for a conference call or probably if you have a conference meeting that people are going to sit, sit around the table and you just want to use one microphone to capture all the voice, you can put this at the center of the table and switch this to omnidirectional Right now, this mic is switched to opening directional, which means it's going to be picking all around 360 degree. All right. And in this case, it's another use for this microphone. You can put it at the center right now and people can talk, you know, from wherever they are. I can talk to it from here. If it's, you know, this is how it faces me. I can talk from it from here also from here and it's going to capture every one of us okay that's omnidirectional this is how it sound this is the omnidirectional polar pattern and i have the pad since morning that i've been using this microphone i don't know that i have the pad on minus 10 so i'm going to switch the pad back on and now it should be full so i'm so sorry for whatever you've been listening to this morning, through you have been listening to this microphone, why the pad is switched to negative 10. All right. So now, if you're going to be using the omnidirectional, you don't want this pad to be switched to negative 10. Okay. And I'm still going to go on the pad, but for now, I just want to demonstrate the polar pattern. And this is how it sounds on the omnidirectional. So this is very useful if you're going to be doing round table talk. And you only need one microphone to capture everybody's voice. You just put the mic right like so. And everybody sits around the table. And they talk. You see how far away from the mic. Why I switch the path to zero instead of negative 10. And I believe with the meter that I'm looking at right now. I'm getting a very healthy signal from this microphone. And I'm a little far away. Just look at how far away. I am to the mic. Yeah, this is how far away I am to the microphone and it still captures me very well. And that is the opening directional pattern. Now I'm going to switch to another pattern that I think uh, is going to be useful. Now this is the figure eight pattern. Okay, so this is how it's sound on the opening directional. This is the side, this is how it sounds from the side, or 
admin directional, you're going to understand that it's going to reject a lot from the side. This mic will reject a lot from the side. So just be sure of that. This is the back. This is how it's picking from the back. It's going to be picking a lot now from the back. Right now, it's going to be picking a lot. So that's the last polar pattern. And why I'm actually in the figure eight polar pattern, I'm going to try as much as possible now to switch the pad. Now I have the iPad fitter switch on. This is how it sounds with the iPad fitter switch on. This is how it sounds from the front. Let me go back to cardioid. So this is cardioid pattern right now. This is how it sounds on cardioid pattern. And I think this mic is going to sound very beautifully. This is how it sounds on cardioid. This is how it sounds on cardioid. Why I switch the mic to my that HS is switch on. That is the low iPad fitter is on. This is how it sound. And this is how it sound with the iPad fitter turned off. This is how it sound. So another scenario that you will use this microphone is voice recording. They can use this to do vocal recording. You can use this microphone for podcast. You can use it for broadcast. It depends on whatever you want to do. I believe this mic will serve you and get you where you need to go. The only downside to this microphone or mic like this is that you need a treated room to use them or else they're going to be noisy. They're going to capture a lot of noise. Um, in most cases, I always recommend that get a better preamp than a better microphone. That's my recommendation most of the time. That's the Senna ICM660. A large diagram microphone with gold plated. So I believe this is going to be a good microphone for a lot of people. Probably if you're working in the studio, if you're doing podcast, or if you just want to do voiceover or voice capture, whatever you want to do, probably put this in on an acoustic drum, put it on your guitar or whatever instrument you want to play. You're going to get good use of this microphone. So, so that would be my time on this one. If you're still here with me, thank you for staying tuned. If you find this information useful, please do subscribe. If you're yet to subscribe, like this video and share it with other people to see. And that's going to be it on this one. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.